Good afternoon, Pokesports. It's your host, Mike, and I play with two Pokemon on the field. Today, of course, we're back from Orlando Regionals, and so I need, need, need to show you the team that I used. I ended up coming 199th out of 720, 780 potential people in Masters Division. So this team did pretty all right, and some of the uh, games that I dropped there were, in my opinion, quite winnable uh so with that i will be bringing you folks the new and improved violence team for series two which of course consists of rory moon uh arcanine sandy shocks dragonite uh, King Gambit and Amoongus. Now, of course, there are some things that I still want to change about this team after playing it for 10 games in a row uh, this past Saturday, 10 rounds in a row, which is, I guess, up to 30 games. Oh, my gosh. Uh, but I want to go and showcase this team and show you just what my thought process was like going in against some of the best teams in the world. So come on, join me. Let's hop on the ladder. Let's see what we can do with violence. Would we like to choose violence today? Yes, we would. Let's go. All right, Rodri, here we go with, of course, okay. So here's the thing. I have been facing Roaring, not Roaring Moons. I have been facing Iron Hands for longer than I can remember. Iron Hands has been a Pokemon that has been plaguing my existence ever since Series 2 started. And so uh, for that reason, I have devised a kind of way around it. Uh, that being just Arcanine, just straight up Arcanine. <laughs> uh, Roaring Moon could work here. It doesn't look like there's any kind of trick room being set up in this, so I can uh, set up a set up a Tailwind if possible. Uh, however, I could also bring out King Gambit. Yeah, there's no reason to bring out King. Well, I don't know because we've got that we've got that Tinkaton over there, and with Tinkaton, kind of makes me want to bring Mister Knight. Uh, because of the inner focus, but Roaring Moon could be all right to just protect on that first turn. I think what I'll do, I'll bring Mr. Knight. Hmm. It's either that or Amoongus. Ooh, it's that or Amoongus. There's an Amoongus on the other side. I'm going to not do that. We're going to go uh, Mr. Knight. We're going to go Mooring Rune. And of course, you got to bring old Greg. So we're, we're going to bring old Greg. All right, King Gambit is good here, but I'm one out of time and two. Uh, not really keen on it versus the Cerule Edge. Cerule Edge is a Pokemon that I didn't see one time over the 30 plus games that I've had with this team. Honestly, this team, I don't think I've played with a single team more than this past weekend. I'm sure anybody who made it through all 10 rounds would, would tell you that they are just so familiar with their team that it is not funny. Uh, looks like they're not going to lead with the Iron Hands, which is fine. Tinkaton's going to have its own tempo going, and again, totally, totally fine. Uh, Booster Energy is going to boost the Quark Drive there. <sighs> now, here's the issue. Here's the issue. Uh, Ferrosako over there, the Iron Bundle can one shot my Dragonite, right? So not very fun. But what I could do, mm, not too much I could do actually. I can Terrastalize the Dragonite here and that would be fine. I don't think I need to Terrastalize Grass uh, for the, for the Sandy Shocks, although I could, but I won't, no. What I will do, I'm going to hit Protect because that's going to be fake outed anyway. Every day of the week, that's going to be fake outed. I'm going to tear a normal and extreme speed the, the that guy, the iron bundle. I think it just makes sense. It just makes sense. The uh, again, the Tinkaton's probably going to go for uh, fake out here. Going to try and do some damage on uh, Arcanine there. So I might as well hit the protect. Let's see it happen. Yeah, there's the fake out. So fake out isn't going to happen. If it were on the Dragonite, then that would have been uh, inner focused anyway. and wouldn't have, wouldn't have actually gone through. And so this helps to, you know, pad some hydro pump damage. Really? Oh, they just went both, both hits on that. That's unfortunate for them. Because what this means now is I can go for either a Flare Blitz or a Will-O-Wisp on the Tinkaton. Which do I actually want to do here? 
If I go for the Flare Blitz on the Tinkaton, that probably won't KO it. So I would honestly rather Will-O-Wisp and then next turn hit it with another Extreme Speed. <clears throat> now, the, the thing is, I don't really expect the Iron Bundle to stay in here. I kind of expect it to, to switch out and go into something else, but what could it possibly switch out into that doesn't want to take a tear normal extreme speed? Answer is just Iron Hands. So, oh no. Okay, if I had more time, what I would have wanted to do here. <laughs> what I would have wanted to do. <laughs> is extreme speed the uh, iron bundle slot and also will o the uh, the iron bundle slot because if it knocks out the iron bundle then great i can will o the the tinkaton and if it doesn't then you know if it protects then i guess i'm in trouble but anyway <laughs> they just chose to get out of there they're like oh wait no i, I don't know what to do here Okay, cool. Well, you know what? Let's go into our next game. That's uh, that's the power of violence, I guess. Let's go. All right. So we're actually going to be going up against Opus over here. Opus, who's going to be bringing the Screamtail, Don Dozo, Tatsugiri. Oh, we'll just bringing all of the the combination of winning things, huh? We've got a screen, uh, a Screamtail, a, a, a Slitherwing, and an Iron Thorns. That's an interesting combination. Now, uh, biggest answer here is what do I have? Biggest question, I guess is what do I have to deal with the Torkoal? I have Old Greg to, be, to deal with the Torkoal. What do I have to deal with the uh, Dondozo Tatsugiri? Well, that would be fun guy. Uh, so that means, what do I lead with here? If they're going to be going with Slitherwing and or Screamtail, Slitherwing, that's got to be... That's got to be Toronto. And then for uh, big scary rock and electric man again that's also old greg but i feel like if i just use mr knight here uh that would work but but i'm not going to do that i'm in fact going to set up tailwind and uh try to do it that way but scream tail is there i don't care we're going to bring mr fun guy over there i think that works does that work yeah We'll spend a little bit of time sporing things, a little bit of time clear smogging things. We should be okay. Unless that Dondozo goes for Terra Steel, then the, uh, what's his face is going to be unusable. The Amoongus is going to be unusable. It's when the music drops that my, my thought process just ends. I don't know why, why that happens. But anyway, Tatsugiri and Screamtail is going to be the lead there. And while I don't hate that, I also don't want to get Choice Scarf Draco Meteored right off the bat. You know what I mean? So I feel like I need to go for Terra Flying and hit a Tailwind here. Or I could just get rid of the Tatsugiri? Huh? No. There is no way. There is no way. Uh, but I am going to hit... Oh, oh. If I do a mega prediction and go for a Will-O-Wisp on the Screamtail and then they swap that into a Dondozo, I can burn a Dondozo. Ugh. No, I'm not gonna do it. Cause then it's gonna be, it's gonna be Resto Chesto anyway, and then it'll just rest away the burn. Uh, we're gonna tear a flying and hit a Tailwind here though. Cause I don't want to get play roughed. I don't want to get Draco Meteored. I don't want any of that kind of stuff happening to my, to my Roaring Moon. Because it's strong. This guy's strong. But it's... It's a little frail. It's a little frail to that kind of stuff. The four times damage kind of things, you know? Anyway, I'm going to hit a uh, really fast snarl on this. Which is interesting. Special attack's going to fall from the Tatsugiri. I wonder if next turn I'll actually get a chance to do something then. Regardless, the Draco Meteor's going to do less than half. And is that going to be a play rough then? No, it's going to be a reflect. That's a reflect. Who are we right now? That's interesting. Oh. I know where we are. Uh, so the, now that the Tatsugiri is all poisoned, I feel like I should just go for a protect. 
because what is the scream tail going to do? It like, hmm. I'm going to go for a half measure here. If the scream tail swaps out into a Dondozo, I want to burn it. If the uh, Tatsugiri doesn't swap out here, it's probably going to protect because Screamtail is going to do something. I'm afraid that Screamtail has explosion or something, and I just don't know about that. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to attack the Screamtail, man. Yeah, here comes the protect. What is it going to do? No. No, I wasted such a good critical hit. I mean, it's going down this turn, but what's it? Oh, it's just setting up another screen. Well, it's fine. It's fine. Set up your screen. I'm just letting the Tatsugiri take some poison damage. Honestly, I don't really want it on the field. Even if it gets eaten by that Dondozo, like, that's, that's okay. There is plenty of time now for me to go and uh, hit another acrobatics on the Statsugiri, actually. So I could go for a will o -Wisp on the Screamtail again, because I feel like now if they're going to try and save the Tatsugiri, then they're going to swap out into Don Dozo. But, man, I could have done that last... No, I couldn't have done that last turn. They had protected. Uh, if I go for an acrobatics now, that will take out the Tatsugiri. I might miss this, because the Screamtail might swap out into Don Dozo, if that happens, I burn it. Let's hope. Yeah, okay, so they're going to withdraw the Screamtail. That's fine. It's fine. Bring out the Dondozo. Ooh, big, shiny Dondozo here. Means that I, I miss, a, uh, miss an Acrobatics, but again, if this didn't happen, then Tatsu would have gone down. This is, this is safe. Acrobatics is going to miss. Will-O-Wisp is going to hit. I would rather not swap the... Uh, I'd rather not swap the Roaring Moon out here. This is not a Lumberry. So I'm going to swap the Arcanine out for this. And then I have time. So I'm going to protect with Roaring Moon, although I feel like they'll probably protect as well. Because they're trying to they're trying to let the Tatsugiri go down to poison. I mean it's not like I can set up, so no, I'm fine with this. The benefit to Don Dozo protecting and me attacking this turn, uh, with my Roaring Moon is that next turn I can protect and, and evade any kind of damage, but it's actually going to go for liquidation on the Amoongus, so this is this is just fine. I mean, it doesn't get any damage off on the Dondozo, but also the Dondozo isn't doing that much damage to me, so I don't I don't mind. This is leftovers. Tatsugiri was hurt by the poison. I might just KO both of these Pokemon on the same turn. <laughs> My Tailwind petered. I don't really... I don't need my Tailwind at this point. So I can Grass Knot it uh, after I Clear Smog. I'm going to Clear Smog first, though. And again, just in case it terrestrializes Steel, I feel like I should hit it with a Throat Chop. If I hit it with a Throat Chop, that's 120. If I go with Acrobatics, that's 150-ish. Uh, but not very effective, that's 75. So... Throat Chop is the better move if it Terra Steals. I'll take that. Didn't Terrastalize. That's fine. It's going to order up on the Amoongus again. Not that much damage. See, but this is why we have Amoongus in the first place. As we go for the Clear Smog, it does a tiny, tiny bit of damage. But all of the stat changes are eliminated. And now... And now... It's just a regular old dozo, baby. Tatsu's going to be hurt by the poison, which isn't fun for that. I don't love that for that. But here, what I can do is we'll go for a, ra a grass knot and an acrobatics. Ooh, still no Terra. 
they're going to really have to depend on that last Pokemon to go for some kind of terrestrialization. I'm fine that it goes for a rest here. I really, really am. So this is that Resto Chesto Dondozo that I was talking about. It's not even Chesto. It's sleep talk, isn't it? Regardless, look at how much damage that grass knot did. <laughs> you know? It's pretty great. Tatsugiri is going to go down to its own poisoning here. Uh, but we've got a Dondozo that doesn't have that much stuff on, on, on it. You know? They're going to bring out the Slitherwing. I'm going to need to protect this turn with, <coughs> with uh, Roaring Moon. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to swap out into Arcanine as well. Because if they attack onto the Amoongus, then Amoongus goes down. That's just the long and short of it. And there's still quite a bit I can do with Arcanine as well. I can hit the I can hit another burn on Dondozo once it wakes up. Ooh. Who's terastalizing? Is it the Slitherwing? Yes it is. That's fine. I can deal with that. Sandy Shocks can deal with that. Terra Rock means that Sandy Shocks can deal with that with ground. And if I burn the Dondozo, then all is then all is right in the world. It's fast asleep. Oh, is it not going to use Sleep Talk? It is. Okay. That's fine. Gonna order up on the Arcanine. That's not the right move for it, but hey, you know what? It's doing it. It would have much rather used a liquidation there, but can't win them all. Uh, I feel like I can just go for a protect here. Go for, for go for a protect. Go for a acrobatics. No throat chop, right? Um, if we take out the Slitherwing. It's really nothing that I have to worry about. Yeah, I feel like the uh, the Slitherwing may want to go for like a uh, Terra Blast here. I don't think it gets Rock Slide. Stomping Tantrum is not the right move onto Arcanine. And Dondozo is still going to be fast asleep. It's going to have to make a choice at some point. You know, Order Up is not going to hit as well. They're just doubling into things at this point. Dondozo's attack's going to go up again. I, I'm, I'm going to need to do something here. Oh, yeah, that's right. They had Reflect this whole time. Oh, never mind. I'm OK. I'm okay. I can just go for a throat chop on the Slitherwing. Uh, Dondozo's not going to be able to KO my Roaring Moon. Eh, it might. Nah, it's not. Let's just assume it's not. Okay, it's not going to not going to protect. I thought the Slitherwing was going to protect, and then the Dondozo was going to attack with Order Up or Liquidation, really, on uh, my Roaring Moon. But nope, not so. Uh, I'm kind of hoping the Dondozo takes something out at this point, so I can uh, bring Amoongus back out. That's good. Why am I bringing Amoongus back out? Let's end the game. Let's end the game, because we have all the power in the world to end the game right now. Because, because I have Mr. Shocks and a light screen that just wore off. So let's go and send out old Greg, the Sandy Shocks. They're gonna send out Screamtail, and that's, I forgot the Screamtail was even there. I'm still faster than it, so I'm going to go for a Flare Blitz onto that, and I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt onto Dondozo. I'm just going to let this Screamtail uh, go down by its own machinations this turn. Oh, well, never mind. I'm going to I'm going to hit it with a flare blitz first. Here we go. Sandy Shocks lost some of its HP and the flare blitz. Boom. I don't know if this was a fair 
representation of what a Don Dozo team is, uh, but it it was certainly a team that had Don Dozo and Tatsugiri. I don't want to uh, I don't want to smack talk this guy and how he played the game, how they played the game, but um, but I guess I kind of am. Anyway, they had a screen tail and a Don Dozo and a Tatsugiri. So all three of those things, they just make me mad <laughs> right now. So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, you just got to bring it to him. Anyway, let's go into the next game because we're having fun. We're uh, we're doing well. Let's keep doing well. Come on. OK, and the, whoa. All right. Back to series one we go. We're facing a mouse hold again. Well, this is the one reason that we have Rocky Helmet on Amoongus, I guess. Yeah, I feel like I should really get rid of this Amoongus. It, it doesn't do nearly anything. But what we do have is the uh, Ndidi and Armor Rouge there. And with Ndidi and Armor Rouge, that is 100% a uh, Roaring Moon and possibly even a Old Greg. I thought about bringing the Arcanine for a hot second there, but I think actually Old Greg is the way to go. Um, especially if that King Gambit is trying to do any kind of final Gambit things, I'm going to want to bring Amoongus in the back because you definitely need to bring Amoongus in the back for this. Um, there's no point in bringing the Arcanine because what the Arcanine is going to do is nothing. Is nothing because Defiant will uh, give it the plus two and Miascarada crits all the time. So, King Gambit it is. King Gambit it is. Let's go. Yeah, it's, it's interesting that you can still bring Series 1 Pokemon in on Series 2. Because, I mean, Paradox Pokemon are, by and large, better uh, in just raw stats than a lot of the Pokemon, but that does that doesn't necessarily mean that you can't you know, still run the old strats like this one. This is beat up. This is beat up and uh, something else. Whatever the uh, Rage Fist. See, but the problem here is that I can just go for Acrobatics, not even Terrastalize. Yeah, I have to Terrastalize. We're going to Terrastalize. Uh, but then with Sandy Shocks, I feel like I don't I don't want to switch here. I don't think switching here is a very good idea. Uh, they could possibly swap into two things that are weak to ground, so I might as well. Attack the mouse hold. Yeah, I got a little confused there because I'm not sure what the what the loss condition here is if the mouse hold goes for a a follow me it won't oh, I'll just I'll just hit it okay great I won't oko it but I'll do like plenty of damage to all of these is it gonna beat up Oopsie. <laughs> what do you even do? What do you even do when that happens? Are they going to leave? I I feel like they're going to leave. You know, I'm going to hit the acrobatics. I'm going to go for earth power. They're going to leave, right? No, they have faith in themselves. They believe. They do not stand for embarrassment. They don't get embarrassed. And I respect that. I respect that. They make a play that knocks out their own Pokemon and they say, you know what? That's okay. That's okay. We can win from this. This is winnable. We can we can bring it right back. We can turn the tables. And they hit Terrastalization. And when they hit Terrastalization, they know. They know what they're doing. They're going into Terra Water. Okay. Uh, they're going into Terra Water. I'm still going to get my attacks off. Well, I'm going to get an attack off. 
The roaring acrobatics are still in full effect. The earth power is still going to hit. Not a ton of damage, but pretty good for a neutral hit. And then Kotal Cleave is not going to take out. That's going to be a uh, really nasty, really nasty sucker punch, though. So we're not going to let that happen. We're going to hit Protect and Acrobatics. And if the mouse hold goes for follow me, then the mouse hold is going to go down to acrobatics. And then next turn, when the mouse hold isn't there, then I'll just acrobatics again. Yes. Sandy Shock's going to protect itself. Ooh. Mouse hold tried to protect itself for the second time. The sucker punch isn't going to happen. Yeah, that's, that's just an unfortunate uh, turn for them. Acrobatics is going to take that up. For sure. I misjudge that all the time. All the time. Isn't that something? We're going to swap out into Amoongus here. Because just in case they decide to population bomb, <laughs> that would just be the ultimate, the ultimate karmic relief going out of Series 1 into Series 2. Just watching a mouse hold just beef it. Anyway, we hit it with the acrobatics. It's going to go down. Ow, my Rocky helmet. Interestingly, not going for the thing. <laughs> but it is going to go down to a Kota Cleave. Uh, yeah, interestingly, not going for a Sucker Punch. But such is life. Such is life. I don't like being that person where I'm like, oh, why didn't you go for why did you go for that move? Like, it makes sense why you didn't go for that move. Anyway, uh, not gonna bother going for a grass knot here. Can't go for a spore. We're just gonna go for a for a clear smog. Battle is canceled. GG. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. And I think we have time for one more game. So let's take this team in one more time. Let's see if we can face a Series 2 team this time. Let's see if we can show it off a little, uh, a little more properly, a little more uh, to today's standards. All right, let's go. The battle against Sage has begun. And you know when I asked for a Series 2 uh, game? I didn't get that. Yeah, I got I got a series one game. That's a Ferrigiraffe. That's a Tyranitar. That Tyranitar isn't mechanized. What's going on here? That's an Orthworm and a a Hippopot hip, Hippopotat hip, hip, hip. Um, I think we can go with King Gambit. Own Tempo is gonna make. Intimidate not happen. Um, it's the potential for Trick Room, I guess. But King Gambit can just like shut down. Wow, a lot of that team right off the jump. Uh, struggles a bit against the Earth side of things, but I, again, I still have Low Kick for even the Earthworm. Uh, I need to reconsider this this Roaring Moon right now is against the Dragonite. It's not great. I'm going to do it. And of course, you got to bring old Greg. Uh, should I bring Mr. Knight, Fun Guy, or Toronto? We'll bring Toronto. We'll bring it in the back. Uh, just in case anything outside of the Tinkaton comes out. If the Dragonite comes out, then I can swap out into the uh, Arcanine and, and hit it with a hit it with an Intimidate. Um, if the Hippopotas is out, then I can hit it with some Snarls. If, I, if the Earthworm's out, then I can again swap it in for for thing. For Ridgeraf and Tinkaton, I think this is the correct choice for those. Something's getting fake outed here. Mm. 
but you can't fake out everyone. We're going to go for a throat chop on the furry giraffe. We're going to go for a kotal cleave on the furry giraffe. I don't want trick room to be set up. I don't want furry giraffe to do furry giraffe things. Yeah, so someone's getting faked out, and that was the Roaring Moon. I have this one chance to go for a Kotal Cleave. It doesn't take out the furry giraffe. Ugh. So like I said, I didn't want the Trick Room out, but you know what? Trick Room out is exactly what we're going to get. I can't even right now. I'm going to go for a... If I terrestrialize into flying and I get hit with a Gigaton Hammer, my life is over. So I'm going to protect. I'm not even going to terrestrialize. I'm just going to protect. And then King Gambit is going to obviously Kotal Cleave that area, so I should not Kotal Cleave. And instead, I should Iron Head. Yeah. They're not going to switch fine. Skill swap. Oh. Okay. Ferrigiraf got Mold Breaker, but what did, what did Tinkaton get? <laughs> I don't know what Tinkaton got. I mean, my, my King Gambit is so slow that like this Trick Room is fine. I just didn't like Trick Room because I don't like Trick Room. I didn't want it to Trick Room because I don't like Trick Room. But this is this is okay. They played rough, so they assume what I'm what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna swap into Arcanine though. Uh, it's not a good idea. <laughs> it's certainly not a good idea. But I think it's the only way that my King Gambit lives. I'm gonna do it. Uh, and then I'm going to hit the Tyranitar with a low kick, actually. Uh, although they can Terrastalize right now, which is... Which would be a vibe. Let's see it happen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Terrastalize. Terrastalize. You're allowed to. It has to, though, right? It got rid of Mold Breaker, so oh, Mold Breaker wasn't even on tempo, so. Here comes the Terra. Be Terra Rock. Just one time. Thank you. Thank you. This low kick's gonna be fun. Not as fun as the uh, Iron Head anymore, but still fun. Still fun. <laughs> it's a powerful rock slide. Gotta tell ya. I gotta tell ya. Eh, did okay damage against the Arcanine, still. What's this? A play rough that's gonna miss? Okay. Thank you. Smudge. Puppy bow. Puppy bow. I think that this Flare Blitz on the Tinkaton is gonna be more than enough, and I think I'm going to just Iron Head the Tyranitar. Yeah. This is either going to be a withdrawal or someone's going to protect. But because I'm attacking straight ahead on both sides, I th think it's not going to really matter. Mm hmm. So the Iron Head takes out the Tyranitar. We're playing in your trick room, by the way. Let me just remind all the folks at home. Ladies and gentlemen, they set up trick room. Uh, Taking time goes first. OK, that's fine. They attacked into the King Gambit. King Gambit took no damage. Flare Blitz is, on the contrary, going to do all the damage to the Tinkaton. And down it goes. Arcanine's going to take some big old damage. And out comes the Hippowdon. I called it a Hippopotas. Or I tried to call it something, but... What does Hippopotam- what does Hippowdon even do? Does- is that physical or is that special? I don't remember. I'm gonna Flare Blitz it. I'm gonna Kotal Cleave- no. I'm gonna Sucker Punch it. Cause it's a Hippo, it's pretty slow. Okay. It just goes- oh, poor guy. Oh, poor guy! <laughs> 
Oh no, I'm so sad for them. Well, that's... Yep. <laughs> Twisted Dimensions are going to return, so my Arcanine is now faster. Uh, yeah, I'm still going to suck her. Because I didn't actually get any information from that at all. Yep, and the Flare Blitz will take down the Hippowdon. And that'll be all. <laughs> Ladder's fun right now, you know? You get some interesting characters on the ladder, and I'm down for it. Good job, Sage. Good job bringing the, bringing the hip out on. I, I rather enjoyed that. All right, cool. Well, uh, this was the team that I used in regionals, and I did all right. I went six and four. Uh, one of the games I famously, I've been saying this on the podcast, was... Uh, ugh. <laughs> it was I, I snatched defeat from the jaws of victory. All right. I protected it the last turn when I shouldn't have. And anyway, so in my mind, in my heart, I went seven and three. In actuality, I went six, six and four. But but that is to say this team did really, really well. And I wanted to show it to you. So come on along with me. Let's go take a look at the rental code for this team. And then we'll get you out for the day. All right, let's go. And here it is, the new and improved violence team for Series 2, consisting of a Roaring Moon, Arcanine, Sandy Shocks, Dragonite, King Gambit, and a Moongus. All right, all right, let's get into this team, okay? Uh, the Arcanine is great for so many reasons, right? You can send it out, you can intimidate, it has safety goggles, so it won't be uh, hit by extra damage from rain, it won't uh, take damage from uh, sand. It's really good in that way. Uh, if you want to do an Intimidate for special uh, attackers, then you can use something like Snarl. If you want to burn a Dondozo, burn an Iron Hands, you can do that with a Will-O-Wisp. The Arcanine is just so versatile in so many ways, but you do need to worry about King Gambits with Defiant uh, or any Pokemon that still does run Clear, uh, clear Amulet, because there are still a couple of Garchomps running around with that. Um, the Roaring Moon is just a mega powerhouse. If you use, if you send out Roaring Moon and the sun isn't up, booster energy will trigger. You will then not have any uh, held items and your acrobatics will go from doing 55 damage to 110 damage because you're not holding an item. Uh, plus you have that ad added benefit of booster energy boosting your attack. So that acrobatics is gonna do so much. Plus, if you then Terra flying, you now have same type attack bonus on that acrobatics. So you can make an acrobatics do just a bajillion damage with Roaring Moon. Um, but what you will notice and what you've probably noticed in this game, uh, in this set of, of, of games, is that there are still some Pokemon that can survive that. King Gambit being one of them. Let's talk about King Gambit. Sucker Punch, Iron Head, Countout Cleave, and Low Kick with Terra Flying. Uh, Terra Flying helps it evade things like Earthquake, helps it evade things like Earth Power, uh, and then completely changes all of its weaknesses around so that, you know, they're just not ready to deal with your King Gambit, uh, potentially. It has Assault Vest. It already has very, very high defense, uh, and the Assault Vest just makes it so that it can live a couple of other things uh, from special attacks as well. Uh, the Sandy Shocks with Terra Grass, I didn't really get too much of a chance to use that. It's fun when you do, because you get the little uh, Terra Crown on its head and, and it spins around with the with the little uh, it, it, zoots that, that come out of its head. Um, so I highly suggest using that. Uh, Thunderbolt, Terra Blast, Earth Power, and Protect. Protect is your best friend with Sandy Shocks. If you can set up a nice, big, juicy, chunky Thunderbolt or a nice, chunky Earth Power or a chunky Terra Blast uh, with with Terra, Ground, uh, Terra Grass, it can do just so, so much damage. And you can easily set up uh, Sandy Shocks to be faster than anything else as long as you can get a Tailwind up from Roaring Moon. Uh, Dragonite, I, eh, I'm going to change this Dragonite. The, my next iteration of, of violence is going to be <clears throat> not Terra Normal, but Terra Flying. And I think I will switch the Brick Break for Terra Blast. And I think I will switch Stomping Tantrum. I'm hesitant to say Stomping Tantrum because I think that Ground is just such a good move. Uh, switch out Stomping Tantrum for Protect. I think Ice Spinner is mandatory uh, for facing off against Indies, uh, breaking terrain.
if anybody ever runs an electric terrain uh, set for quark drive uh, teams, I think it's it's great at taking that away. And then extreme speed, I can just keep because extreme speed is extreme speed. And sometimes you just need that plus two priority, you know what I mean? Uh, and then a Moongus, of course, with Terra Dark, uh, Clear Smog, Grass Knot, Rage Powder, Spore. I might, I will change the Rocky Helmet away from a Moongus because I don't think really dealing with mouse holds or dealing with uh, physical Pokemon is really a thing anymore. Uh, not so much in Series 2. Uh, we're going more into the um, the trickery meta is, is kind of what I'm starting to call it. It's just, you know, trick rooms and parish songs and... Don Dozo's going to sleep and stuff. So you need the Amoongus on your team. You do. It needs to be there to deal with the to deal with the uh, Don Dozo specifically. Because if you don't prepare for a Don Dozo, Don Dozo has prepared for you. Um, so got to have that. Anyway, the rental code is up there. Again, I did really well with this. Well on my standards uh, in in uh, Orlando Regionals. And I, I don't know. I just I want to share this team. I want you to use it. I want you to have fun with it. It's really good. Anyway, I've been Mike. I play with two Pokemon on the field. I'll see you next time. Bye.